Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Some of you maybe already know where I am, some of you still don't. I'm kind of hesitating to tell you, to be honest with you, because when I was booking the flight ticket, it was in the beginning of my stay in Russia. Um, and if I would be to book that ticket now, I would probably choose a different destination. But there are no mistakes, you know, God works in mysterious ways to show us things. And I think one of the reasons why I came here is to really see the contrast of the energy of the West and the energy of the East, of how it is in Russia, how it feels in Russia. And I am, I'm blessed that I am a very sensitive person because I feel a lot of things. But I will be addressing this on my life. Um, I will be doing live for the first time on Locals. This will be announced probably in the next video um, because I might be changing the room in my hotel that will be better lighting and also um, better internet connection, I think. But today I would like to tell you about two things uh, from Poland, regarding Poland. And the first one is thanks to Maciej Maciak again, my favorite Polish journalist, as I always say. It's about the apartments or houses that uh, are not used by Polish citizens. So this is about, um, let me tell you, the ombudsman, you remember I said this name before, has contacted one of the Polish ministers in regards of those empty apartments. And what this is, is that the landlords at this moment in Poland, they don't want to rent them out um, to our new guests because they are afraid, you know, it's getting more and more dangerous. Um, and that person, ombudsman, that represents you know, like the citizens' rights. He contacted one of those ministers in Polish government um, to do something about it because those apartments are not supposed to remain empty, in his opinion. Which this um, looks like that um, the government has less and less space to locate the new guests so they might actually very soon introduce a new vacancy tax um, to those empty apartments and you know even i was thinking about my situation uh, for example like when my father was still alive and that apartment for some time um, was empty then i went back to poland last year as you know and i was living in it but I also knew that I don't want to rent it out or I didn't want to leave it empty and then go back to States or wherever I choose to because, you know, it's a problem. It's always in the back of your mind and it's a uh, responsibility as well. However, sometimes people have this situation, you know, like they built a new house and they still have the apartment or they buy apartments for their children and children are at school, universities. So they keep those places. And now it looks like there's less and less room um, people don't really want to rent those places out for the new guests and if the government will introduce the tax, there's, you know, things gonna change again. Another thing is the article I found on Rzeczpospolita PL. I didn't read the whole article, to be very honest with you, just the beginning, like, beginning of it, uh, to get a sense of it, because you have to pay to um, subscribe to this whole website and I'm not gonna spend money on the fake news. But this actually is not a fake news, it's just overall that magazine is like, you know, newspapers a certain way. But the article is about the children that will be receiving pension. Let me explain to you what it is. So the children of fallen volunteers will receive special pension. Um, and that is due to the decision of Polish Prime Minister Morawiecki who decided to give the children 2,000 zł per month. Those are the children of the volunteers who were fighting in Ukraine. But um, this is the amount per month. And as this article states, 
that so far, which I found absolutely unreal comment here, let me find this page, that this decision Morawiecki did after mud of deaths of more Poles fighting the Russian invasion in total four. Four of them have already died. So they stated that only four of those Polish volunteers died in Ukraine. I don't know if this is a mistaken print or what is it? So yeah, the Prime Minister has this authority to um, put this in law that he can give those four, I guess, families. The link will be down below, guys, so if you want to spend money and read the whole thing, I was able to see how many died, which is enough for me. But anyway, um, yes, I am where I am. I'm still not disclosing. Some of you probably know it already, or you feel it, or you're guessing. Some of you were saying Ukraine. This is definitely the last place on earth I would like to be or visit. Zero interest. Never had, never will. Yeah, so uh, stay tuned for next video because I will be announcing live on Locals and I will answer all your questions in regards of my trip to Russia. Definitely want to go back there. Um, yeah, that's for sure. So all the links you find down below and I see you in another video tomorrow. Lots of love everyone.